What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Trayvon, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough, the Isle of... Uh... <laughs> What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Trayvon, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough, the Isle of Armor series in Pokemon Sword. So, in our last episode, we actually went to go capture some fast slowpoke. That is, uh, yeah, that, that right there is no joke. We went to go capture fast slowpoke, and now it is time for us to find some big old swirly mushrooms. Now, also in the last episode, we actually got ourselves a good old Pokemon, Dubasaur, at level 5, and this one is a very, 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 very special Pokemon because you can actually Gigantamax it into a special kind of Venusaur. Now, if you guys go into my Pokemon Shield version of the Isle of Armor, I got myself a Bulbasaur, or I got myself a Squirtle. So, either or, I'm gonna get all three of the uh, I'm gonna get all three of the the which one call it's uh, the starter Pokemon from Kanto. So don't worry about that, guys. Now, in this episode again, we will be going for some mushrooms, some special kind of mush mushrooms, and we have to actually look for them in dark, dank places and stuff. So, here we have Mustard. He's like, "Hey, Draven, my bad, my bad." Uh-oh, what's going on here? I don't like this. It just dawned on me th that you're brand new in the Isle of Armor. I bet you have no idea where to even begin looking for max mushrooms. Come on, let's go for a walk and I'll show you some mushroom hotspots. Okay, alright, let's go, Master Roshi. The max mushrooms. Dum-dum-dee, la-la-da. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, I've been here before. Now, usually the forest of focus is chock full of max mushrooms. But the thing is, a swarm of greeting came through and ate every last one here. So I'm thinking maybe you'll have more luck finding max mushrooms if you go check warm-up tunnel. It's out on the other side of the forest. Oh, well. Just watch there. Watch where you're going in the forest, okay? It's easy to get lost. Anywho, good luck with the hunt for the max mushrooms. Catch you back on the uh, at the dojo. Well, it looks like we actually have to get three of those uh three of those max mushrooms right there. Now this will actually help uh I guess Gigantamaxing and all that stuff. Now, we actually been here before in the very first episode of the Isle of Armor for the sword version and shield. And we almost got lost, just a little bit lost. Now here's one of our students and well I've searched the forest to focus high and low, but there's no si signs of the max mushrooms. Could they be growing somewhere else? Probably. So, where there's berries, we should probably shake. There we go. Apricorns and all that stuff. Now, eventually I will be capturing a lot of these Pokemon right here, guys. My main focus is getting through the Isle of Armor and all its, uh, you know, all its trials right here. We actually have three, and apparently this guy wants to actually just like, you know, this is the second trial right here, and, well, hopefully, just hopefully, we get it done pretty quickly right here. So, let's see, there are some interesting Pokemon that you can actually find here, too. Won't be capturing them yet. I know, I know, guys, I am very, very anxious to capturing every single one of these guys, but... It's all about the whole, uh, it's all about the, the, the trials right now, and, yeah, they weren't kidding. You can actually get lost around here, so now, we've already been there before. We've already been there before, so I think we should actually go into this area right here, because we actually have to go into some dank, dark areas, and there's a bit of energy right there, and look at this. Hold on, right there. And we have found ourselves another uh, Alolan Diglett, which, of course, you will be able to find all over uh, the whole island right here. Remember, there's 151 of these guys. And if I brought back Fungus instead of Max Mushrooms, do you think they'd notice? Yeah, they would probably notice because uh, Fungus looks like Pokeballs. I think these Max Mushrooms should be looking a little bit different than the Fungus and all that stuff. So... Here we go, shaking up a little bit and seeing what we can actually find. And there's the blue or apricorn, and here we go again. And we've gotten ourselves quite a few other berries right here, so that's good. Getting ourselves apricorns, blue apricorns. So it looks like that we can actually get some Pokeballs from Johto now, since we're getting apricorns from those trees. And I just need to know where they make the apricorns and stuff. So 
Here we are crossing the bridge, and here we are in the training lowlands. Now, I don't know where to actually find... I think that's the cave right there. There's a cave somewhere, and I don't want to get attacked by any of these Pokemon. And there's a Shinx. So there's a cave right there that we can actually go to. And, well, let's see. The most awesome Pokemon ever. Yes, we can spare lots of wattage just to see what Pokemon they're talking about. And look, we can actually find pincers here, too. Okay, so every day you will be able to find these ladies and whatnot. And, well, there is a cave right there that we can actually go to. And, whoa, Scyther! I want to capture you, but I can't. Not right now. Okay, so let's go right ahead and see what these caves can actually have. Because there's quite a few caves around here. Alright, there's a Revival Herb, and here we are in the Brawler's Cave, and, well, I think we've already been here before, but we haven't really, like, we, we, we really didn't check, we really didn't check, like, uh, we didn't really check this place thoroughly, so, let's see, you can actually find, ooh, a Drudagon! Oh my god, the temptation, guys, the temptation of trying to capture all these Pokemon. It's great. And, well, there is a digger right there. But I'm going to get a rare bone and grab myself some more items right here. And let's see. Let's go ahead and talk to this lady. Where are you? Lady? Lady? Ah, there you are. Nice seeing you again. I feel like giving a piece of armor. Okay. Okay, so she is, yes, the lady that will give us, uh, okay, here I go. Oh, sorry, I rock hard, broke my shovel. Okay, so supposed to get is gone. Such life anywhere, somewhere again. Okay, so we kind of gamble ourselves away right there. Kind of sucks. All right, let's go ahead and look for what we were looking for. Drudagon, you will be mine. You will be mine. Okay, so going up into this cave right here, we are going to be finding some uh, interesting stuff, including another wattage place right there, and a TR of some sort. And look at that. You are finding some rare-ass Pokemon right here. Holy crud. Okay, let's go here. We got ourselves a TR-31 Iron Tail. And let's see. Okay, so this is very tempting. First is first. There is somebody, something that I see right here. And we have found ourselves another Alolan Diglett. So that right there is six more. All right. Depending on what this Pokemon is... I will show it. So let's go ahead and see what it's all about. And here we have 2000. And we are going to be going up against a Chandelure. So it looks like it's not much of a Pokemon. So I'll be right back, guys, after I defeat this guy right here. Okay, so that was a little too difficult to actually go up against. It was a Chandelure. But it was, its defense was just too high. So let's go back to actually finding, uh, finding these mushrooms right here. And staying away from these Pokemon. And, well... Look at that. We found ourselves another Diglett. So that right there is getting us closer to finding uh, all five of the, or all eight of the uh, Diglets that are inside this cave right here. Uh, now the thing is that we actually, like, we really have to look around for these mushrooms right here. They're in dark, dang places. And they are very, very rare to find. So let's see. I think I've already been here before, so... Let's go right ahead and just use our bike. And, well, look at that. We found ourselves a Moonstone, two Moonstones, and a Diglett right here. So that leaves four. Yeah, so it looks like to me that we're going to be finding these guys before we even find a... Uh, before we even find a Mushroom right here. So let's go right ahead and just give it a walk. And we got a Zurul, we got a Loudred, and we got another Diglett right here. And that will leave three left. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so a bottle of iron is good. Good stuff. And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and grab this little bastard right here. Normal gem. And, let's see. Keep our eyes peeled. And it looks like to me there's another Diglett. Right here. Okay, so that's two more. But here we are in the challenge road. So this is this is not where we're uh, what we're supposed to be looking at. So 
I'm gonna have to go back into the cave and go into another one that we uh, we found across from this cave. So, let's see, there's a whisper right there. Jeez, man, they are making it difficult for us to find all these uh all these mushrooms. So, let's see, if we can look down below right here, then that'd be great too. There's nothing right there. Let's see, what about right here? Nothing. Just a bunch of Pokemon that you can actually try and capture. Guess. Let's see. Nothing right here. All right, we're gonna continue on. <laughs> gonna continue on to try and find these mushrooms any way as possible. And well, I see another Diglett lying around here. There we go. Found another Diglett. Okay, so that leaves one more Diglett around here. And let's see. Yeah, they are just around here somewhere. Alright, let's see. Where are we going? Okay, dude gone. I really want you, but... There's nothing more I can do right here. So, let's go here. Grab an item. And we found ourselves a nice little item. And, well, let's see. Let's cross this little pond and see if we can actually find something right here. I think we already found something here in the like a few episodes ago, so it really doesn't matter. Let's see. How about here? There's nothing? Anything? Come on! Found ourselves a Armor Armorite Ore. And let's see. Yeah, there's nothing around here except for just land. And a lot of Pokemon that want to attack us, want to be our Pokemon. And would you look at that, we found ourselves the last Diglett. Okay, so we found all the Diglets in the Brawler's Cave, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. But we can go right here. And, yeah, this will actually take us to the outside right here, into the Workout Sea. Do not wish to get attacked by any kind of... Uh, Sharpedos right now, so it looks like to me that we're not going to be able to find anything right here. It has to be in another cave, so let's get the heck out of here and go back into the forest and see if we can actually get to the other cave. So here we are in the training low lowlands. Let's see, okay, so we've gone too far. This is not the exit right here. See, you get a little confused once in a while, guys, you really do. So let's see. Um, hmm. Yeah, I kind of got a little lost right here. So okay, so this is exactly where we cross. So we're gonna have to go back into the trailing lowlands and then find our way through there. Let's see. All right, here we are, trailing lowlands, and. Now we actually have to go to. Wonder if we can go right here. Now this, that right there is just uh, this another wattage area. And let's see. Oh wait wait wait! Found another diglet. <laughs> and 14 more in this area right here. So let's see. I want to check out the map. And it seems to me that we're already... Yeah, we need to go back in here. So this is the pop bottom. We have to go in here, the warm-up tunnel. And, well, let's see. I think we were already in there. It's just that... Yeah, okay. So... Alright, let's try this once more time, okay? Because it says that we have to be in the warm-up tunnel. But we haven't found any mushrooms in there. Okay, so here we are, warm-up tunnel, or the Brawler's Cave. So, okay, so I was in the wrong cave. Let's see, let's go right here, and Brawler's Cave. So we're going to have to go all the way over there. Okay, so we're going to have to cross. Yeah, we went, we deviated from, from this place along, or, we, we yeah, we deviated a, a way far away, okay? So let's go right ahead, and get to the warm-up cave. And 
and there we go. Let's see. I mean, he just gave us the he gave us the route, and we kind of messed it up right there. So that's what happens when good old Draven takes uh, command of this whole thing. So let's see. Fields of Honor. Wow, we we went back. Okay, so we have to go back here. Good gravy. Where are you? Let's see. Right over there, I think. And away from the Pokemon. I know, I know. I want to capture them all. God dang it. God dang it. There we go. Found ourselves a TR-45 Muddy Water. And, wow. Okay, so this right here is what? Brawler's Cave again. Good gravy. Okay. Whew, man. I am uh, wasting a lot of time here. So we are far away. All right, let's see. Okay, guys, so we're back in the Forest of Focus. Good gravy, man. Like, when they say you get lost, you get lost, okay? So I wasted a lot of time just to... <laughs> just to... Well, I, I wasted a lot, a lot of time on the wrong place, so... We're actually going to find this cave right now, hopefully. I mean, I went right here. This is where I, where, where I went and then got messed up right here, so... Yeah, this is the place where I got lost, so that is not where we're supposed to be going, and we're gonna be have to go like we're gonna have to go into the focus of for or force of focus because a lot of our comrades are right right around here. So let's see, what if we go through this this uh this bridge right here? So I'm only assuming that if if you see some of your teammates right here. That's where you need to be, and right now we are just looking at Pokemon. A lot of Leaf Stones, a lot of items that we probably do need, but don't need right now. And... Wow. Okay, so... Yeah, this Forest of Focus is really not... It really isn't letting me focus right now. I'm like wondering, where the hell am I supposed to go? Alright, let's see. Okay, so we're supposed to be going up the stream right here. Training lowlands. Okay, so we need to go to the training lowlands. I think that's... I always get those mistaken and stuff, so... Here we go. Is that the place? Probably. Alrighty, okay. So here we are. Training lowlands. And... There's a Tauros that we don't want to mess with right now. Yeah, that's, this is the place that we were supposed to go to. And we have to cross a little bit of a stream just to get to it, so. Let's see. Go. Moo Moo Milk is always nice. You know, chances are I could be crossing a lot of Diglett that I should be finding. But I really don't care right now. And this guy... Call me Digging Paw. Oh, wow. Digging Paw, okay. All right, give us a few digging ores, and, uh, yeah, okay, so let's go ahead and give that, and 2,000, yes, 2,000 watts, another 2,000 watts, another 2,000 watts, holy crud, oh, wow, 3,000, look at that, we are earning watts like nobody's business, oh, wow, we hit the jackpot, guys, we really did, oh, my God. Yeah, we're going. Three or thirty-eight thousand five hundred uh, watts altogether. Wow, that right there has doubled everything. Okay, so here we are in the warm-up tunnel, and we will be finding some diglets right now. And there are only two in here. So what's going to happen is we're gonna get off our bike and actually run through there. Now I see a mushroom. Somewhere, something that we should have been doing, or so, should have been looking for. There we go. And let's see. Let's go straight to the the mushroom. Now, this is the mushroom that we were looking for. This is a max mushroom. Do you want to pick them? Yes, we do. Hold up a sec. And because we picked up the mushroom. Uh oh. <laughs> Clara's back. Hello. What's this? 
Three mushrooms in one spot? Here I thought that I need to go find, uh, find them one by one. I saw those mushrooms first, I swear. I've been at the dojo longer and all, so it's only fair that you let me have them, right? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Wait, what's this now? Are you giving me an attitude? Pitting me? Or are you? Gosh, you're a pain in the neck. You, uh, you just show up out of nowhere and just happen to be young and talented. If you're looking to get uh, in my way, well, I think well, some vile poisons will take care of that. Well, here we go again, guys. We're going to be battling our girlfriend, Clara. Our jealous girlfriend, I should say. And, uh, well, she's going to be coming out with a slowpoke right here. And, well, let's go with Michelangelo to take care of some business. And he's like, let this, let's set the record straight right here. I'll show you once and for all that I'm the better trainer. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, so, Body Slam, I think? How in the heck do you have that Pokemon? I want to know. And that Body Slam does its trick, but here comes a Confusion Attack. And it hits us a little harder than what we thought. So, let's go one more with a Body Slam. And Body Slam does it for the win. Slowpoke has been defeated. And this will actually have some of our Pokemon grow levels. Dubasaur has grown to level 15 and has, is starting to learn some good moves right here. And, well, let's go ahead and take out Growl. We don't really need that right now. And there we go. Okay, so it wants to learn Razor Leaf as well. Take away Tackle. It's another move we don't need. And there it is. And it wants to learn Poison Powder. How many moves do you learn, man? All right, take away, you know what? Vine Whip, yes, Vine Whip. And there we go, Vine Whip. And it wants to learn Sleep Powder. That is a move I don't want to teach. No, I don't want to teach it. Yes, okay, so there we go. Did not learn Sleep Powder, and Godzilla grows to level 43. And she wants to send out Coughing, so let's go right ahead and switch it out to another Pokemon right here. Let's go straight for... Let's go for Blitzkrieg. It has been a while, Blitzkrieg. It has been a while. Alrighty. Here we go. And, well, let's go right ahead and... Let's go right ahead and go for an Overdrive attack right here. Overdrive does it. And say goodbye to Coughing. And Claire is not feeling happy right now. Oh my god, oh my god, and Dubasaur grows to level 18, learning a Seed Bomb. And this is looking like a better move than uh, Razor Leaf, so let's go right ahead and take that away. And there we go. And she's coming out with a Whirl of Peace. So, let's go straight for Godzilla, Godzilla, just to give it a little bit more levels. I know it's like 20 levels under-leveled right here, but, you know... I kind of want to switch it up, and she's like, I am really going to lose again? Is there just something wrong with me? Kind of is. Just a little bit. So here we go. Whirlipede with a very strong defense. Let's go straight for a flamethrower attack. And... Wow. Takes most of his HP. And she's like, oh, fine. Hit us with our weakness. What are you, super effective moon machine? Maybe. Go on, go knock him flat. Give him a little venom for good measure. And here comes a poison tail attack. This one actually hits us hard, so here we go again one more time with a flamethrower attack. And that right there does it. Whirlipede has been defeated. And well, more experience points for all our Pokemon right here. Dubasaur wants to grow wants to learn takedown attack now. So let's go ahead and take away growth. And there we go. Look at that. Okay, so my Pokemon are growing levels. That's good. And Claire is not happy. Just what you have, or just what you have, you got that I don't. I got a lot that you don't, or I don't even know what to say. Okay, so because of that, our Dubasaur is finally evolving. Look at that. Oh my god, my Pokemon is going to be very, very strong. Super strong. And just like that, Dubasaur has grown into Ivysaur. And, well, let's see the new Pokedex entry right here. Ivysaur, the seed Pokemon. When the bulb on its back grows large, it appears to lose the ability to stand on its hind legs. So that kind of sucks. 
And, well, let's see. Ugh, why can't I win? I'm trying as hard as I can. What am I missing? Fine, you can have those silly mushrooms. I'm going to find better ones anyways. So there, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and grab these mushrooms. And we have, uh, I guess, a yeah, mushrooms that have the uh, the power to boost changing Dynamax forms. They boost all stats of Pokemon during the battle. Beep, beep, beep. And just like that. Hello, hello, is, Dra is this Draven's phone? How's the trial coming along, love? Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. You mean you've already managed to find three max mushrooms? I've been checking in on everyone's progress, but it seems that you're the first place, uh, you're in the first place once again. You really are our new rising star, aren't you? I suppose that I'd better go put a pot of stove, but you be careful on your way back. Ciao. Okay. So, there it is, guys. We have gotten ourselves a new, or we, we've gotten ourselves the only pair of, uh, mushrooms that we needed to get. So, let's see. There is a Pokeball right there I kind of want to get. And from there, I'm just going to... Oh, look at that. A smooth rock. Okay. So from there, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to fly. I'm going to fly back to uh, to the... Uh, what would you want to call it? The entrance right there. Because, yeah, we spent a lot of time trying to... Uh, yeah, we spent a lot of time trying to find these things. Trying to find the cave in general. So... Here we are in the Fields of Honor, and actually, what the hell am I doing? I'm pressing that button all the time right here, so this is what happens, guys, when you don't play Pokemon for quite a while, especially on the Nintendo Switch. So let's go back into the dojo and see what they have to say to us right here. And, well, oh my god, oh my god. So we're back in the dojo. Everybody seems to be happy. I am. All right, Daddy's back, and well, everybody's talking it up. They're low. They're like, we can't find the mushrooms. Where the heck are they? Yeah, they don't look too happy. Hey there, Draven. Welcome back. Looks like you nailed the trial. Congrats on finding the max mushrooms. Trial number two was no problem for you. All my other students ended up getting lost in the forest. Turns out finding max mushrooms was the least of their problems. It's a shame, but I guess everyone uh, everyone other than Draven will fail the trial. <laughs> wow! Well, first things first, a proper meal. Let's have the Max Mushrooms made into a delicious Max Soup, shall we? Okay, let's see what this Max Soup is all about. Oh, wow. It is boiling hot. Mmm, 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 mmm. I really have downed myself this time. Now, all that's left is to add those lovely Max Mushrooms you bought us. <sighs> Miss Honey, wait! Why, Clara, what in the world has gotten into you? I've never seen you in such a flutter. Pan, pan. I I've got some Max Mushrooms, too! Oh, nice work, Clara. You must have searched hard for those. That makes you second person to pass the second trial. What? I did it! I did it! And Aw, oh, chin up, Cla darling, Clara. You did it. This is because of uh, this is cause for celebration. Master, Miss Honey, please, can I ask for something just this once? I want you to use my max mushrooms in the max soup. I really want to share my hard work with everyone here. Oh, Clara. Well, if the, if that's all uh, you're after, then I'm perfectly happy to oblige. Though, this is hardly the first time you've asked for something. I, I rather doubt that there will be the last. Miss Honey! I hope you don't feel feel that your thunder's being stolen, Draven. But we're a family here, and family share. So, we'll go ahead and use Claire's mushrooms today. It's just so rare to her to find uh, too hard to try hard at something. I really want to reward that. You understand, don't you? You can hold on to the max mushrooms you found. I'm sure you'll find good use for them. Oh, and don't worry. You'll totally you totally you still totally passed the trial by with flying colors. Think of those uh, max mushrooms as an extra reward. Hmm. It should be. And well, she did take my thunder and look at the clouds right there. Holy crud. Okay, so this is a uh, Gigantamax and stuff. All right, everybody. Soup's on. The famous max soup of Master Dojo. Well, I'm famished. Time to dig in. Let's eat! You enjoyed the max soup. 
Oh, I never did explain the big deal about this soup, did I? You see, when one drinks of this uh, dojo's famous max soup, you feel Dynamax energy welling up from inside of you. No, don't. You don't. That's kind of the the thing. Doesn't happen if a human uh, has the soup. But things are a bit different when certain Pokemon drink the soup. You see, there are some Pokemon that have distinct potential. And when they drink the soup, their Dynamax form will change into Gigantamax form. I'll keep one of our lads in the kitchen on the soup duty for now on, too. So you can ask him to serve a fresh bowl of Max Soup whenever you need. Oh, okay. Now then, let's wrap up things up. You all did your best sec on the second trial, and I'm proud of everyone here. And last but not least, thanks for the soup, honey. Thanks for the soup, Miss Honey. Okay, so let's see. Mustard right here is going to be asking us, By the way, Draven, meet me in the room when you have a moment. Oh, in the room. Okay, so now before we go anywhere, the Max, the Gigantamax soup, I'm only assuming that it only works on certain Pokemon that can have Gigantamax forms. One of them... I did use in the in the little battle that I had against uh, Chandelure, and that is uh, what was it Grimmsnarl. Now that's a Pokemon that you can actually have a Gigantamax form, Lapras, I believe Snorlax, Gengar, those Pokemon. So keep an eye out for those. I'm gonna try them out later on, but stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, it looks like to me we're gonna go in for our third trial, if not maybe a side quest here and there. So thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.